Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I am joined as ever by Nadio Gamer. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, and uh, how are you today? I am very, very good. How are you? Awesome. I, I, I am also very good. Uh, uh, what, what are you What are you building there? Uh, I am building um, productivity modules so that we can make uh, productivity science. Uh, is that what they're awesome. called? Production science. Production science. Well, yeah, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. And that's what I'm going to do down here. Because, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so we're going to put in the ones up here. And I hope the bias going to leave me alone. Because I don't think we'll play with it. That would be nice. They're a bit mean. Uh, I did do one thing off camera, which I just remembered, and I haven't actually mentioned to you uh, pre-recording. Okay. Uh, uh, our copper wire. Mm -hmm. I have adjusted. I have I have rebuilt the copper wire. It's it's pretty much the same thing that it was before. Okay. Um, it's just being rebuilt so that uh, uh, it's expandable. You can just copy and paste it. Oh, cool. So uh, so if we need to expand it, we can. Mm -hmm. This is all done here. Uh, we're actually struggling for iron right now, and that's because we run out of iron ore. Yeah. Or are running out of iron ore, I should say. We just uh, we don't have enough of it coming in. So, uh, no. So we have a plan to remedy it, though. Uh, yes. As yes. soon uh, as we get production science going. We want to get production science going because we need to do something with nuclear fuel because we're out of uranium as well, and our nuclear fuel isn't going to last forever. And and essentially, we're we're on the cusp of uh, a spiral of death. <laughs> not a great thing. So we don't want to do that. No, no. Uh, dying is not in our plans. No. Dying, dying is not an option. Well, it's an option, it's just a really bad option. Yeah. It's not the preferred option. No, definitely not. Uh, come so far. Yeah. Let's, uh... Right, uh... Let's see. We are getting rid of these trees so that we can build and production science production. We need 67. I think um, machines for that. One of the productivity modules. So. Going to be setting that up and hopefully be done with it in this episode, actually. Kind of nice. Uh, this long uh, straightaway I have with the uh, rails has got way too many power holes in it. But I've kind of done that on purpose because of how often you have to put rail signals in. Okay. They don't quite line up. The four carriages on a rail signal. Um, doesn't line up to one big electric power pool distance. Ah, uh, no. So it would mess up everything. Yep. Come on, Robert. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So that was 57. What am I missing? These assembling machines. I'm missing iron plate. Let's see. Do we have iron plate being dropped off anywhere around here? Nope. So we need to call an iron plate train. Let's do that straight away. Find one. Get it. Go here. You. Ted. Uh, oh, we can try. And while we wait for it, we can do a bit of real stuff renaming. So we will rename you to. Green uh, circle drop off. Uh, we already have one of those, so let's. We have a few of those. Yep. We don't have enough green circuits, but we have plenty of stuff. Yep. Uh, yep. And nice. then you can be red. Uh, or is it called advanced? Yeah, advanced circuit drop off. 
And then we need to enable a train limit. Oh, one. Oh, time plate. Thank you. And we need to now. There are a lot of dead trees up here. Ah. I see. Uh, I don't know why. I'm going to run out of rails. Good lord. Yeah. Yeah. Run out of rails. I have the my train. Disable. Probably a box them I've left somewhere. Circuits. Two thousand. Set. And this is that circuits two thousand. What? Oh, these are two thousand. Come on. Oh, look at to that. Yeah. Set. That's a good idea. Okay. And then we need to make. Wow, I can only make seven of these? Why? I need steel. Alright, steel. Here, please. And we can start. Doing something here. Uh, let's do there. I'm on route. So, of sixty seven. It's a long way from up there. Uh, I need a calculator. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> well, I can... have discovered that many, many games I'm playing now I require a calculator for. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, so Okay. Um, so if we do 69 instead of 67, it was that many that we needed, right? Check yeah, sixty seven. So if we do rows of if you want to divide it into four, then Sixty, seventeen, thirty-four, sixty-eight. So sixty-eight is what we'll be building, and we'll have rows of seventeen. Ah. All the numbers. All the numbers. Yep. basically need the same amount of red and green circuits for this so we can just let them on one belt that should be fine so activity module let's just copy them here here go you have the output in the middle Put. 
and you'll have a fast inserters. Not that I have enough stuff for that, because I need more laser turrets and things. Laser turrets are pain. Way up. And once we have this one set up, then we can ask our friendly robots to do the other two lines. What the hell happened here? Basically, copy this and paste it down. Round the bell. Cool. And we had a wall train as well, you put in, didn't we? A wall train? Uh, yeah, yeah, we do, because we're, we're, uh, yeah. we're oh, yeah. making military science. Balancing. Yeah, the, the wall train needs balancing. Not about it. Yeah, the, the input for the wall train needs balancing. Some okay. of the carriages are loading for others. I forgot about that. I'm loading my tracks up with trains. Um, uh, and there's nowhere for them to go right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I'm just... How many trains do you have? Uh, i got my train, I have the rail train, I have the uh, wall train, and now I've got the wall train coming down here. <laughs> But the tracks will be built and they will be free to go. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Okay. Uh, dang it. I need more fast inserters. Which means I need more iron plate. Or maybe we actually have fast inserters on the train now. Which would be nice. No, we don't. Are you sure? Oh, no. Fast inserters we do. But you can't get the train. It's mine. <laughs> well, that's not nice. <laughs> you can call it, but it won't go anywhere. Okay. Well, but that will be corrected soon. Ish. Right, I'll call an inserter train. And I'll call an iron train as well. That's your first. There we go. The inserter train. The the inserter train is off. Okay. Right. That's a regular inserters. Uh, are there fast inserters on it? Yes. Yes, there are fast inserters on it. There aren't any uh, um, green inserters. That's what I was thinking you were saying. Okay. Some line plate. Oh, uh, oh, I had walls on hit. Oh, all that time I had walls on my train anyway. What an idiot. And... Wait for the inserter train, okay. fast inserter train. Uh, I don't have any bullets.
Here it comes. So now all the trains should be able to do their thing mm, without getting stuck the again. It's right, awesome. All of them. Hopefully, the biters that are just there won't come and bite me. Now I have some biters pretty nearby as well. Which I am not particularly happy about. I just want to be friends. No, they do not. Well, if that's what they want, then they have misunderstood what friendship is. Friendship is biting. Oh. See, I think you misunderstood what friendship is too. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to speak their language. That's what it is. Uh huh. So there we go. So we're now we're now full on ammo. Awesome. Go this side of the track because I know there's no trains coming along because there's no trains going the other way. And we need to make ourselves some productivity science. Uh, balance this a bit. It requires three stops, which is quite convenient. Okay. That one doesn't need the exit, doesn't need there. Uh, that just allows trains to choose the other track if they want to, like this one. Do that. Yeah. There. So I'm going to block the track there. Okay. So. One. Okay. Three train stations, and then we join them. Just straight from here, go up. So close. I, I, that's really weird. I've just, I've just, I'm, I'm doing something, and then my brain's just gone. No, no, you, no, no, <laughs> no. You're, you're doing it wrong. Okay. It's like, but I, just, I just said what I was gonna do. Uh, I, I, I think out loud. I don't know if I said it in my head or not, but. Um, uh, and then I went and did something completely different. It's like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what, what? That's not how you were building the thing. Why did you put the thing in and then build it somewhere else, you idiot? <laughs> Sometimes I even amaze myself. Oh, well. Come on, train. You heard me. Now we have enough belt. Uh, that needs to 
trees. I don't quite know why we go here, but we might be able to stay. Uh, uh. Call the train because I got it stuck. I'm stuck in trees. No. How dare you, trees? I thought you were my friend. Oh. I think the trees are the biter's friends, not ours. But I've always been on their side. That is true. I then I thought they knew that. No. Apparently not. Okay. Running down the track or staring at the map. No, what I have done here is wrong. Why? Why would I do that? Did some before it. Here. Here. I'm starting to think that thinking may not be the right thing today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's not good that... when you're playing Factorio. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. But um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what I'm, what I'm, what, what, why I'm getting this so wrong. I don't. Input, input. That's right. So the trains can pick what track they want to go to. Then they come off. I had the trains picking what side of the track they want to after the turn off. Mhm. Mm so that would be no point. It's like, well, why have I put a crossing in after the turn-off? Because if it's after the turn-off, the trains will be like, well, I don't need it. I'm, I'm, I'm already on the track. <laughs> uh, Let's see if we'll get any trains coming here. Steel. Right. Green shirt, drop off. Black uh, shirt, drop off. Uh, when we need. So there. I do, I do like how you can get into like any carriage of the train and control the train. Yeah. That is nice. I'll jump, I'll jump in the very rear carriages, four carriages back from the engine, but it will still drive forward. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice. How does it know? How does it know? <laughs> <laughs> Just shout really loud at the engine. Hey, right, move. Right, so, once one of our trains decides to come here with either red circuits or green circuits we should well we need both of them to produce but we should be ready to produce productivity modules oh. we should be ready to, to produce productivity modules Can I 
maybe. Okay, so I need electric furnaces up here. I need productivity modules and I need rail. Now rails, I need four times the amount. Actually, uh, rails, you need like A almost lot. 20 times the amount of the other two. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, if I drop this okay, down to yellow belt, it's just an yeah, yeah. indication. So I need I need half a belt, half a yellow belt of electric furnaces, half a yellow belt of productivity modules, and 11.2 belts of rails. Okay. So it's like 20, 24 times more uh, rails than everything else. Jesus. So, uh, yeah. But that's fun. That's absolutely fine because it means I can just put in just fun. Uh, I just need to put like the rails in center. And that was that. Oh, wrong that circuit cut off. I wanted to go to this one. Hang on. Go up. I have it unloaded here. Go along. Okay. That's. Means I want to. Eh, uh, probably could have cross. Matter. Either way, I need a train stop coming. where I put these things in. So let's do a train unload station, but I need one side of it. A single sided unload station, I need. Yeah, so that's one thing that Pete mentioned that at the, the science, we need to have two sided drop offs. I'm not sure if, about that. With, with uh, what are they called? Stack inserters. Uh, he's probably right, he usually is. Yeah, I mean, uh, what I've been trying to do, um, not necessarily in places like what I'm doing here, but uh, particularly for the ore and the uh, plate pickup. Yeah. Still using fast inserters to load the chest, but then from the chest to the train using stack inserters. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the trains go a lot faster. Because obviously the the, uh, the belts only run at a certain speed. There's no point in putting stack inserters off the belts because the belts just aren't fast enough for it. No. Right, well, there are a few productivity modules that have been made. Not a lot, but some. But it's set up to produce enough for a thousand sites. I mean, it... Oh, cool, cool. Do I have any mines, miners on me? I don't think so. I do actually, 21. Because we could hook this copper up. There's 6.6 .6 million copper here. How are we doing for copper? Do we have plenty of it or? Uh, copper's okay. I think iron is the problem. Yeah. One, two. Well, we do have a de decent flow of iron ore. It's not 100%, but... I think the issue is that a lot of our places that we're mining the iron ore is uh, drying up. Yeah. And, 
get away from the trees. Damn you trees betraying me. That's kind of funny looking. It's like there's a uh, dead patch around the uh, power poles uh, or the trees. If you look where the iron ore drop off and uh, and pick off pick up is, it's like the trees are dying in a little circuit a circle around the large power poles. Yeah. I wonder. Uh, I wonder whether uh, the trees have actually been killed off there and have grown back like that, and they just they don't because they don't grow so close to certain structures. Yeah, that could be. Because I did set fire to a lot of trees. <laughs> <laughs> I did, um, uh, which I might do here actually, because that will clear out a lot of trees. That's not a bad idea. What could possibly go wrong with a forest fire? Yeah. So you have a perfect way to end the episode. Uh, yeah, and we are okay. actually over time. We, we are. So I am going to set a forest fire right down here. We go. And then probably have to repair lots of train tracks because I had to do that last time. Uh, and we'll let this burn and uh, we'll come back next time. Yeah. Shall we? Let's do that. Okie dokie. So thank you all very much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this one and we hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.